Good evening, um, welcome to this slightly Christmassy edition uh, of my YouTube video, uh, namely the background, um, we're into the last couple of days before Christmas, um, <clears throat> so I just thought uh, we'd have an interesting background for today's video. Today's video, or tonight's video should I say, um, it's a bit of a beginner's guide to uh, the way that you need to get the scout going um, and I just really want to make it as simple as possible um, if you're not overly 100% sure how uh, the instructions work um, or your type of person who generally doesn't follow instructions. So uh, first things first is you've got the scout all set up. Everything is in place. Um, it, just for your reference, uh, my transmitter has the throttle um, on the left-hand side here. Um, just for just in case you get confused by how I'm going to do this. So first things first is it's all set up. And now you need to enter the calibration mode, the compass calibration. That will be able to determine things like, you know, how stable um, the scout's going to be, um, where it gets its, you know, as I say, it's like its compass thing. So rather than it flying like this all the time, you know, it, it generally will stay steady. So to enter the calibration mode, what you do is you turn on the transmitter um, and then I'm, I'm not going to demonstrate it because mine's already set up and I don't really want to be losing the, the setting that's already there. So hence the batteries have been removed. So on the transmitter, on with the battery, turn it on. Uh, the, the handset, uh, the transmitter handset will vibrate to let you know that it's but that it's bound it's it's you know it's it's working together um don't plug in your camera and it, what i would do is unplug the gopro um the sorry the gimbal from the power because you're going to be moving this around now and this is going to be not liking it at all and it will put extra strain on the motors so just unplug this unplug the um, the gimbal so that this is now all just loose and free okay so what we do is so now this is on we now need to enter the calibration mode and that is by on the transmitter is going both down to the bottom and to the left like so what then you'll suddenly see is the light on the battery start just blinking between a red and a blue light, literally just doing this, going all crazy. And it's letting you know that it's, it's in calibration mode for the compass. So we now, now should I say, need to enter um, four different methods. Um, to calibrate uh, the scout. Always make sure that it's facing away from you. So the first method, you've got to do this pretty quick. This isn't a, by the way, this is not a do it once, stop, wait a minute, do it again. This is memorizing how you're going to do this and doing it quite quickly, because that's how the scout wants you to do it. So as I say, we're into the calibration mode like so. The lights are going crazy between blue and red here, and I mean crazy. So the first things first is we need to turn this uh, uh, around. And what it recommends, if I knock the camera there, what it recommends is that you turn it um, and stop every uh, second. So. You go one, two, three, four. So that's the first step. 
Bearing in mind, as you saw from there, I stopped every 90 degrees, okay? Then immediately, you need to turn this one, two, three, four. All right. Then we need to go one, two, three, four, like so. Um, and then finally, onto there in one, two, three, and four. All right, and then what you'll find is that blue and red light, the blue will suddenly just stop. You won't see the blue anymore on the battery. Um, and then all you'll get is a red flashing light. Um, and what happens there is that's basically saying that the calibration is complete. You will or you may find that the calibration blue light will stop flickering when you're three quarters of the way through the compass calibration. Um, don't worry about that too much, uh, but basically it's saying it's it, it's probably still taking in, taking a note about what you're doing, but generally it's happy with what you've done. So the calibration is finished. You now do not need to do absolutely anything else, nothing at all. Um, it will now. Uh, sort of come out of its calibration. What you then need to do, I should say, is turn off the battery and pull it out. Put out the battery. This saves the calibration, compass calibration, in the Scout uh, and everything you've done. And then we'll you might as well turn off the receiver. Okay. Then back on with the receiver, on with the battery, and then uh, you're now just simply going to look for the satellites and then you're away you go. So what happens is here, I'll show you exactly what I, what I do um, for it so you get an idea. Um, but I'm happy to show you that. I'm not too happy about showing the, cal the compass calibration on the basis that, as I say, mine's already set up. So if you need to get an idea again of how, how that works, just rewind my video to see the steps that it takes. But as I say, you've got to do that quite quickly. Um, so once that calibration is done, we can then move on to arming the motor and getting this thing uh, flying. In my next video, I'll discuss um, how you arm the motors and basically look at getting the uh, scout into the air so thanks for watching um and look out for the next video hopefully within the next uh, 24 hours or so um please subscribe uh, and rate my video um it would be most appreciated